Okay, so we're gonna go with the... The Von Den Foss. We're gonna go with the, the Von Den Foss. <laughs> it's an 8.9 alcohol by volume, and it's a dark double alt beer. It's a bourbon and rye barrel aged, and you guys know I love anything aged in a bourbon barrel. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna do a review of this. And then I'm going to enjoy a bunch of beers, uh, a few more beers. Look at that. That is just beautiful right there. Uh, hey, everybody. It's your buddy Jimbo. Blue Collar Beer Review. Back at it again. This time, we're at our, we're, you know, we're just at a random location. We're hitting it and getting it on the weekends now. And we, we went to this, this great little brewery, Klaus Brewery. And it's right here in H-Town. It's just off Jones Road, and it's a fabulous place. It's super clean. It is, it's just, they, it looks like they've got some great beers. I've had one already. It was delicious, but I wanted to review one of their kickers, their big boy. It's the Fondant Foss, number two. And it's a uh, bourbon rye barrel aged dark double alt beer. It's eight point nine alcohol by volume i've got a little snifter here of it and i'm gonna do the uh i'm gonna do I, I'm, i'll do the look listen i'm not I, i'm not pouring it they already poured it but i took some uh i took some footage of her pouring one out pouring this one out for me so you'll be able to see the pour and what it looked like and uh so let's get with it i'm gonna smell this and it smells wonderful oh It's got a nice subtle little uh, crackle to it. It's been sitting here for a while, so it's just, it's kind of chilled out. So what we're gonna do is, um, let's knock it back. I'm gonna knock this one back and I'm gonna give you my review, all right? So, here we go. Here's to these little microbrew places. They're just fantastic. And this isn't quite the promised land, but it's pretty damn good. This is a nice little place. So, Gazoon tight. Look at the Brussels lace on there. This is a quality made, wonderful beer. Man, super subtle, it, it's, it doesn't even taste strong, but it has great flavor to it. You can't even really smell the high alcohol content in it. This is a fabulous beer, front of the mouth, definitely. And it's, it's got, it's just got a wonderful finish to it. So, hey man, the, uh, Vandam Foss, number two, I think is a kicking, it's a kicking chicken man here in uh, Klaus Brewing Company here in Houston. And it's a great, it's a great beer. So if you get a chance, come on out. Hey, have a great day. And uh, maybe I'll hit one more before I leave. All right? Hey, your old buddy Jimbo, out. Here. Uh, ready for your car, babe. 
is? It's ready for your car. Oh, okay. Pull your car up, uh, get some to-go cans. She's going to be loading me up with all sorts of delicious cans that I'll be able to review later. This place is fantastic. Hey, everybody. Joe Buddy Jimbo. One beer, one take. All for y'all. And we're still here at Klaus Brewing, and I'm going to do one more review for you because all their beer is such deliciousness, and it's lovely, so I figured... I've had several already, so I'm gonna have a little one. And it's still, um, even though it's a little glass, it's not a baby beer. It's it's a pretty big beer. It's uh, 7.2, as we say, 7.2% alcohol by volume. This is the German twist, all right? This is a German twist on the IPA. It's called the IPL, all right? And this is the Indian Pale Lager, number one, all right? So, it's supposed to be smoother and more delicate and way easier just to pound down than your regular IPA. It's going to have that happiness to it, but it's the German version of it. So, uh, you know, old Jimbo loves IPAs. So, I've never had an IPL. So, I, I, my, my interest was piqued with this one. And, you know, I like big beers. I like them up into the uh, you know, eight, 10%, because that's where your money's made right there. But anything over four, 5%, we're still cooking with Crisco, all right? So this is a great beer, and I'm gonna knock it out. I'm not really gonna, the color on it looks great. You know, we couldn't, we didn't catch the pour on it, but I'm gonna smell it. And it's hard for me to really get a good, uh, you know, good smell on this because, like I said before, this place is so clean in here. They've got this place spotless. It's wonderful. The vats, the working area, you can't smell any of that. You can't smell any of it. It's so perfectly disinfected in here that you, it, it's, it, that smell of clean cleanliness is here so it's hard for me to really catch a good smell of this but when I'm pounding this down <laughs> it's gonna be up in my nose all right so here we go here's the Klaus Brewing and here's to the German brewmaster Ochaim. Lovely. Check that out. Now, that is a work of art right there. Brussels lace on this. Look how it is formed around this glass. Each chug I took of this, this beer left a distinct ring on this. This beer is fantastic. The quality of this beer, the flavor, the full mouth feel, the back of the throat, it's just, um, like I said, you know, I was at St. Arnold's Brewery uh, the other weekend and we, we did some beers there and we put in work there. But these beers here, these beers here are awesome. And this is a fantastic beer. I love the IPL. <laughs> the Indian Pale Lager. <laughs> I love this. This is a great beer. I think I'm going to probably take one of them home with me. So. This beer is definitely Jimbo approved. You guys need to come out here. You need to check this place out. So, with that being said, leave a like, tell a friend. Hey, your old buddy Jimbo, out.